Let's see now. That's a good size hole. At the 19th Street Pocket Park in Boulder. Can you guys see the difference between these? And Change is underway. These do not have to be bare rooted. Andrea Montoya is leading that change. I am a pollinator advocate and I developed the pollinator advocate program for the city of Boulder. She and a group of volunteers are removing non-native plants. And I don't think either of these are native, to tell you the truth. By and planting native ones. We're not just planting these to create gardens. We're planting this to mitigate climate destruction. To some, this might look like a bit of a mess. Leave some messy leaves around, some stems, some branches. But for native bees, this is beautiful. That's because these native plants provide habitat for a bee population in peril. As our climate changes, that's shifting when plants can occur. That's affecting when the pollinators, you know, may have food or not. No native plants means no native bees. Many of our apple trees, many of our peach trees, those are pollinated by our native insects, our native bees. Yeah. For volunteer Sharon O'Brien, it's a small act right that can make here. a big difference. Well, it makes me feel really good to help the bees. Because the climate is changing. Native plants are struggling, as are the bees. These advocates say small steps, like putting native plants in our yards, will not only remove carbon from the air, but will also give bees a home. You will see the change in your own yard, and you'll know that you've had a positive impact on climate change. In Boulder, Keely Chalmers, 9 News.